The game's future stars are on display as minor league baseball comes your way on the show. It's the first game in the month of June between the Reno Aces and the Las Vegas Aviators. Coming to the plate now, Alec Thomas. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. Fastball taken inside for a ball, two and one now. And this will miss as well, so he's in danger of losing the leadoff man here tonight. It's three and one now. Weather shouldn't be much of a factor. 71 degrees here at game time. Three and two now. The pitch. And it takes strike three called on the fastball. And the leadoff man is gone to start the evening. Now at the plate, Seth Beer. Day off for him yesterday, but back out there for this one. Takes a look at a change up there, and it's a ball and two strikes now. Jeffries isn't really known as the kind of starter that goes deep into games. It's not that he isn't capable, I'm sure. He just hasn't been that guy that works deep into games with regularity. Matty V, I'm not sure it's this guy's fault, but I think it's more the fault of the metrics and the way we look at pitchers now, trying to limit the number of pitches and the number of appearances they have with particular guys in the lineup. Here now the 2-2. Hit softly down the line at first. Scooped up, and he will apply the tag himself, and the inning is over. Settling in now, Franklin Barreto. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Gets the sign. Here comes the 2-1. Front door with the slider eclipsed the zone for a called strike. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. So coming to the plate, Vimael Mashi. Two hits and eight tries for the series. Now the one and one pitch. Is offered at and missed. He chased it for strike two. Boy, that's a jam shot right there. That's as good as it gets, in my opinion. Up and in. To two balls and two strikes now. Count remains two and two. Looking for back to back K's to start the game. One out, nobody on. Swing and he pops him up. Duzanak backs up and takes care of it. Two away. Now at the plate, Seth Brown. And he comes in as a player to watch out for, hitting well over 300 on the season. Couldn't lay off that time, and it's one and two. If the offense didn't already know, man on the mound's got his A-game fastball working today. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. And he fouls this one off. Two out, nobody on. Pitch popped up. But this will land untouched. The bouncer to the left side. Field it cleanly. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Second inning set to go, and here comes the first baseman, Kevin Crone. The 1-1 one, one home. Misses, ball two. Two and two the count. Good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. Now batting Wyatt Matheson as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. The 1-1 home. 
line to the right side. But that's a foul ball. He was absolutely all over that fastball. Have to find a way to keep that fair. And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. Oh, and this is swung on and missed. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. That is big. Digging into the batter's box next is John Hicks. He did his part yesterday afternoon as he cashed in with three hits in the losing effort. Checks his swing here, but he does so in time. And that's upstairs running the count to three and one. You know, when you haven't gotten a guy on base yet in the entire game, a three ball count kind of feels like a little mini rally. Let's see if he can get on. Good deception on the slider there as he's way out in front. Fouled off. Still looking for our first hit in the ball game. Yeah, just a masterful job of pitching here as he strikes out the side in order. Late now is the designated hitter, Trace Lair. He's set to lead off the home half of the second. The 1 1. Misses for the second ball. Too high that time, and it's 3 and 1. I don't blame him for not coming over the heart of the plate. He circled this guy on the lineup card when he got to the yard today. He's been swinging one of the hotter bats in the game. Now the three and two pick. Locks him up for strike three. Into the box now. Greg Dykeman. Bottom of the second here with no score. And here's a changeup in there for a called third strike. And that's the second out of the inning. The third at the plate, Jonah Bride will try to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. Now another one-two. Struck him out. So he makes quick work of him here. Three straight strikeouts, and the side is retired. Now to the plate, Andy Young. He had a couple of hits in yesterday's contest. The 2-1. Back up the middle. And there's their first hit of the game. Batting it. Dalton. Marco. So now to the plate, Dalton Varcho tried to crush that ball and now perhaps needs to shorten up with two strikes. And a swing and a miss as he picks up yet another strikeout. Six of them already, and there's one gone in the inning. Stepping into the box, Camden Duzanak. It was an 0 for 4 day for him in yesterday's loss. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. Weak grounder down the line at third. And they will get. No, he's in there. A very close play at first. The center fielder, Alec Thomas. In now, Alec Thomas. A ground ball to third, and they could get two. There's one on to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. So striding in, Tyler Ramirez as we move on to the bottom of inning number three. And it looked like the fastball got away from him there. Luis Barrera, the number eight hitter here, waits on deck. Smoked on the ground up the middle. That's a base hit, their first of the game. At the plate now, Luis Barrera hit the target, but this is low, two and one.
Takes that one a little bit low. Three balls and a strike now. Colin Thoreau is on deck. The three and one pitch. High in the air out to center field. Thomas will settle under it to make the play for the first out as the runner will have to head back to first. Digging in, Colin Thoreau comes in after a day of rest yesterday, so we'll see if it did him any good. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Jay on the run. He can't get there as it falls in. And they'll have runners at the corners following the one out single. At the plate, Franklin Barreto. Outside and low that time. Now it's two balls and two strikes. Now a fastball inside, and he works it back to a full count now. I don't think he can afford another base runner here, so whatever pitch he feels best about, whichever one he feels most comfortable with, that's the one I expect him to turn to. The second for one, on to first, but not in time as he beats it out. Ready for another chance? Vimael Mashin, 0 for 1 here in the early going. Working for the punch out and the offering. Now he drops a change up on him. Strike three called and a great pitch there to retire the side. So striding forward now, Seth Beer. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. Throw to first in time, one gone here in the fourth. Coming to the plate now, now John Let's Jay. See. He got on top John. of one and was a ground out yeah. victim last time. The one, two. Is laid off for ball two. Both teams with just two hits apiece thus far. Fastball strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger and there are two away. Now batted. The so three. now it'll be the four hole hitter Kevin Crone Whoa. looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. And this is taken low for ball four and they'll have themselves a two out base runner here after now all. Batted. The third base. Striding in once Wyatt. again, Wyatt Matheson. Matheson. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there north of seven, eight pitch ABs, sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment now right that. here. The designated hitter, John Hicks. To the plate now, John Hicks. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. A time to start making some quality pitches. He finds himself in a tough spot behind an account with guys on base. Just off the outside that time. Laid off for a ball. Three and one here. You have to make a good pitch on the mound. Grooving one here rarely works in your favor unless the hitter tries to do too much with it. And that pitch misses for ball four. So some intrigue now as the bases are loaded here with two away. The 2-2 pitch. Now a hard liner. But this will be a foul ball. The 2-2. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Oh, what a stop! And give it up on a phenomenal play to retire the side. Ready now, Seth Brown comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. The 1 2. Line drive, and that's a base hit into center field. Around first, digging for two. And now it'll rattle up against the wall. And he is in to third with a leadoff triple. Now back, the designated hitter, Trace Lair. Stepping in now, Trace Lair. Count is one and two now. Both clubs with three hits in the ballgame.
Spencer up the middle. And that's through into center field. Base hit. And that'll plate their second run of the game as they take a 2 nothing lead. Now back, right fielder. Into the box, Greg Dykeman. And he turns on one, sending it high and deep to right. But that'll stay in the park as it's off the wall. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. The third baseman, number five, Yoda Bride. Standing in now, Jonah Bride. Now a swing and a fly ball. And it's a foul ball. Here's the one and two. This is on the ground over to first. To second for one. On to first, and they turn the double play. Digging in now, Tyler Ramirez. He reached on a single in his first try. Yeah, guys, everyone knows he's been slumping. Dan, you can certainly attest to this, only amassing a solid one hit in your entire career. But pressure's off now. Maybe he gets hot. Two and one the count. He gets him to wave at that one. It's two and two. Even though it's early on in this one, anytime you get runners in scoring position, you'd like to knock them in. Fastball is outside. It's full now. Three and two. Now on three and two as a pitcher, you've got to go with the pitch that you feel most comfortable throwing. Rounded down the third baseline. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. Payoff pitch one more time. And he missed with it there. Ball four. It's a two-out walk with the runner still at third. Now at the plate, Luis Barrera. And their runners at the corners now. And he misses two and one. Hey, lots of guys get too aggressive in a spot like this, but he's done a nice job of gaining some count leverage. Look for him to put the ball and play hard. Pulled high in the air out to right field. On the move is Jay. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. Into the box now, Dalton Varsho. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. Got him to go down swinging there. Dalton Varsho is retired to kick off the inning. High chopper to third. And there's out number two. So the lineup now flips back. over and digging in Alec it. Thomas 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. This one sinks low on a touch outside. It's a full count three and two. Swing line drive. That's going to be trouble. Running hard. He's digging for second. And he'll coast into second here with a two-out double. Now that left field. Beer. In now, Seth Beer. Sent on the ground out to second. Barreto's got it. And nothing will come of the two-out double as the inning is over. Now in the box, Colin Thoreau. He singled his last time up. The 2-2. Hit high and deep to right center. Long run for the center fielder. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first out. And next up will be Franklin Barreto. Bases are empty, one man out. Got him on the good slider there. Swung on and missed as he's down on strikes for the second time tonight. Stepping in, Vimael Mashin. He got called out on strikes his last time through. 
Yeah, Maddie, and hopefully he got it out of his system. Especially now, he's got to bear down. He gets the two strikes in this. And the catcher grabs it to retire the side. The inning is over. All set for the start of the inning. And digging in is the outfielder, John Jay. The 1-1 one -one home. Strike two swinging. This year against right handed pitching, Jay has a batting line residing in the 290s, looking to boost that even higher here. Sent on the ground out to second. And he's going to beat the offline throw to first as the first baseman couldn't get the foot back in time. So it's a runner at first as a result of the throwing error. And next to bat will be the first baseman, Kevin Crone. In there, one and two now. The count is one and two. From the stretch. Grounded back up the middle. One there. On to first, a double play. In now, Wyatt now Matheson. Back. He's working on a one for two Wyatt. game so far. Matheson. Line toward the alley in left center, and that'll get down for a two out single. The batter, the designated hitter, John Hicks. So now to the plate, John Hicks. One ball, two, Swung on and missed, one and two now. Fly ball out to straightaway right. Right fielder is on the run. And this one bounds around against the wall. So now they'll have two men in scoring position following the two out double. Now back second base. Andy Young. At the plate, Andy Young. A foul tip held on to behind the plate. And he comes through with a big strikeout here to retire the side. Plate Seth Brown. He's one for two in this one. The one two. Two balls, two strikes. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. Now that striding forward that now is the DH, Trace Lair. He was a strikeout victim his first trip and then collected a base hit his last time around. Had nibbled the corner there but missed two and one. And that's in there above the belt, so it's even now, two and two. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. And he struck him out. Good pitch there as he registers his eighth punch out of the ball game. How about it? Right Digging in to try it again. Greg Dykeman. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. And he comes back with a fastball. One and two now. Boy, he looks strong out there on the mound this inning. He's got a chance to punch out the side in order and against the middle of the order, too. The count now at two and two. Mine to the right side. In is Jay, but this ball's in front of him for a base hit. So the bottom of the inning is still alive after the two out base hit. Now batting the third baseman. Yoda. At the plate now, Jonah Bride. Fly ball out to straightaway right. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. TJ McFarland. Is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 38. 
Striding in, Dalton Varsho. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. Moretto brings it in. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. The batter. Into the box for Camden Duzanak. He was a ground out victim last time up. Grounded up the first baseline. Uh, this will get foul. It's a ball and two strikes. High in the air out to center field. Barrera is there now, and he has it. Two gone. Trying to pick things up where he left off. Alec Thomas is working on a one for three thus far. From the windup, the one-one pitch. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. You know, over the course of a full season, you're going to have some clunkers, and this certainly looks like one. By the look on the manager's face, he's going to probably call a meeting after this. And he comes back with one down and in for ball three. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters, so you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. Bride is there, and the side is retired. The West Tunnel gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Number 30. West. Stepping up now, Tyler Ramirez. It was a walk in his last trip. Ready with the two and two. That was kind of a gift to the hitter. He's up there probably thinking of protecting on two and two, but when you launch a ball that high out of the strike zone, it's obviously easy to take that one. Count remains full. The three, two, one more time. And that misses ball four. It's a leadoff walk to start the home seventh. Now batter. At the plate, Luis Barrera. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Into the corner and slicing foul. Fouled away. Still a ball and two strikes. Ramirez on at first. Nobody out. A little late on this one as it's lifted the other way down the left field line. Beer will get there with ease as he puts it away for round number one. So digging in now, Colin Thoreau. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Down low, two balls and a strike. Runners on first with one down. Oh, textbook slider there, and he's back at even two and two. Right side, but it's going to be a foul ball. Not surprised he's laid on a heater right there. Just saw an off-speed pitch, wanted to stay back a little bit too long. Line drive to left, and that's in there, base hit. Into the box, Franklin Barreto. This is on the ground over to first. Speared on the dive. There's one back to first, and they won't get them both, but they wouldn't have had any had it not been for an excellent play at first base. Trying to keep the game close. Here's the pitch. Count still at one and two. And they come. 
come inside with the fastball but it misses here and it's back to two and two. Here's one that misses inside and the counts run full now three and two. For the guy in the mound this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. A swing and a miss that retires the side and that will do it. Donnie Hart has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 80. Ready once again, Seth Beer. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. Even though we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan, a bloop and a blast. They could certainly use that right now. Left fielder coming on. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. In now is John Jay. John Jay. He's set. Here's the 2 2. Pretty easy pitch to lay off there, 2 and 2. Not even close to being in the strike zone. He made it easy for the hitter in that one. Liner towards second. Oh, and this kicks right off of him. And there are two away now. Digging in once again, Kevin Crone. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. The 2 2. Is laid off and the count runs full. A swing and a ground ball to third. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Robbie Scott is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 53, Robbie Scott. Stepping up to the plate, Seth Brown. Now the 2 1 pitch is a fastball whiffed on for a strike. Scott has seen his role change with those one batter lefty specialists going the way of the dodo as a part of MLB's pace of play initiatives. Line but speared on a hop. And that's out number one. Next will be the designated hitter Trace Lair. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Yeah, but it was a good change up, Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here. The ball taken there. Two and one now. Good spot for the change there, and that'll knock things up at two and two. You know, from a hitter's perspective, you get pounded in, and then he throws a nasty change up away. Is the mindset to tell yourself, that he's going to go in and out all day long, or is he going to double up? That's the cat and mouse we're seeing right now. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Thomas is there, two gone. Sliding into the box, Greg Dykeman. He's two for three thus far. The 1 1. Bases are empty here with two men out. And he lays off, so it's full now, three and two. Jonah Bride would be next. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. Ryan Schlitter takes the ball now in inning number nine, looking to close the door. Number 58. New inning set to get underway, and that'll give way to the third baseman, Wyatt Matheson. Looking for base runners here as they're down two playing on the road. Not an easy thing to do, trying to score runs or bunch hits together off of a closer. 
He's set and the 2 1 pitch. Oh, now here's a drive out to the alley. He takes the turn and heads for second. And he is in the second with a double, his third hit of the night. Now battle. Into the box now. John Hicks. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Schlitter, 33 years old. He throws a four-seam fastball, a slider, a changeup, and a two-seam fastball. Hit to short. He's got it. And the throw to first is in time, one gun. Standing in is the potential tying run, Andy Young. But a single here could reduce the deficit to only one. Here's the 1-1. One -one. Watching him on the mound right now, I think he's just having trouble throwing strikes to this guy. Up only two runs, I don't think he's working around him. Reined in. And he'll take this one to the bag for the out, but meanwhile the runner will move up 90 feet to third base. So a big now spot back. here in stepping in Dalton Varsho. Although there are a couple of bases open, and we'll see if they think about working around him. Ready with the 1-1 pitch. Hit to third. Oh, look at the dive. He gathers the throw. What a play. And just like that, this one is over. Hey, how about that play to end this thing? That's what you call the icing on the cake. Cherry on top of the Sunday! Exclamation point. I love it. This evening's game finishes 2-0 the final score. The Las Vegas Aviators led this game from the third inning on and never wavered. Dalton Jeffries earns the win his second. Taylor Widener pitched well, allowing only two earned, but ends up taking the loss. Brian Schlitter wraps it up for the save, his 11th of the campaign. So that just about does it. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way on over to theshownation.com. Here now is our final line score. First, for your victorious home team, two runs, seven hits, one error. They left six men on base. For the Aces, no runs, seven hits, no errors. They left nine runners on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 25 minutes.